and it's silly when you look back on it, but I didn't understand that me stressing about the problem, which was my big bloated belly, um, I became kind of obsessed with that. And I would do, you know, tr tr do good one day, eat perfect. And then I would wake up and nothing had changed. And then it was like, I would bawl and cry. And I was, it, it was the same cycle over and over and over again until it finally hit me that, oh my gosh, the stress about stressing out about this is what's keeping me stuck. So to be honest, I just had to focus. One thing is I had to focus on the actions versus the results. Um, and I had to give time for it to work. I had to like give it space and remove the timeline because I wanted to see results right then because I was changing so much in my life. And I was at such a low, hard place that I was like, well, I'm doing all this work. I'm changing it. I should like, I deserve to see these results super quickly. Um, and I think at that point, I was still more interested in kind of those vanity metrics. It hadn't quite really kicked in and, and clicked for me just yet. Um, and so one thing was focusing on the actual actions within the day versus expecting to see a massive change the next day. You know, and that goes for our, like our, I tell my clients that also, if we can like stop looking at the scale and expecting to see a massive change within two days of doing something and just focus on what you're actually doing and the actions, it's going to remove so much of that timeline and that pressure and just make you honestly enjoy what you're doing more. And when that happens, stress about that, actually, it just naturally goes away.